We are the men that took the Klan in Marshall County, Alabama, USA down. Yes, we did. This is King, Sonny, and Chief coming to you from Montgomery, Mo Alabama. Montgomery, Alabama. Right over there is the State of Alabama Office of the Attorney General. Yes. And we are currently under the governance of Kayavi with Steve Marshall as the general. Yes. So we're in good shape there. Now, some people have an utter disregard for the United States Constitution, for the jury system, for the Holy Bible, and for the sanctity of life in general. Folks, it's men hating women. Yes. That's what the case is all about. That's true. They were jealous of a female making more money than all of them white supremacists put together. So they set out, conspired to rape, rob, pillage, slander, steal, kill, destroy, set on fire, <coughs> and kill her if they had to. Yep. to sabotage they everything. Sabotage everything. That's it. She makes it, we take it. What she won't give us, we'll destroy, yep. and then we'll kill her. Yes. It's men hating women yes you can turn a little bit toward the right king sunny to be there you go king sunny as you know is 100 percent dark blind light blind means you can tell that you're outside in the sun and dark blind means you live 100 percent in the double jet black yes. darkness and without light yes but king sonny has the spirit oh yes i do king sonny has the truth yes king sonny has god oh yes as do i the chief true and we don't worry about enemies no that's the free man's motto yes we don't worry about enemies no because God's got us. We're in his hand. That's it. Marshall County wants us to lose because they are losers. Yes. And we ask, who is the dumbest of the dumb? Yes, it, brother. That keeps pushing this. Yes. Marshall County, you killed a World War II. They war did. disabled. A war crippled. Yes. And high priest for the... Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. Yes, and a healer, too. A healer. And the great-grandson to Kaiser Wilhelm II, Germany's last emperor. Unconscionable. Yes. And it's all to steal a million-dollar property from an elderly white female that's also disabled. Yes. From picking cotton for the first two decades of her life. Yes. And I promise you, she hoed far more than she picked. She'll she did. She'll tell you all about it. They they got up at 4.30 every morning, sometimes 3.30. They would get water from a well and milk the cows and tend to the hogs. And then they would gather eggs. Yes. A holy, holy, godly existence. Yes, he was. They read the Bible. Yes. Every day, every night, they prayed constantly. And these are who you have attacked, Marshall County. Yes, they have. These Christian a, people. These Christian people and Marshall County, cruel, ignorant, satanic officialdom. You have the blood of innocence on your hands. Oh, yes. And now you hide. You can't hide from the Lord. No. He can read the human heart. Yes. We are helping the blacks, whites, everybody from being abused financially by the state of Alabama corrupt officials. Yes. Folks. Google it. It's called the American Disability Act. They're not bulletproof. 
they're guilty as sin. Yes, they are. They think they can flaunt their lawlessness because they know they're above the law. That's it. No, you're not. No. It's called an error in judgment. Yes. No one's above the law. Nope. No one's above God. Amen. And they look at it like this. We'll offer her her life. We'll let her live if she'll just cooperate. That's it, brother. And give us all of her civil rights, human rights, property rights, dignity rights, or we'll just have to kill her. That's Folks, it, brother. these people have treated my mother this way. Yes. And she's the Leonard Skinner mother. Yes. People that know Miss Eugenia. And that's Eugenia Roden, R O D E N, Rogers, R O G E R S, as in her Hofreister Rogers from Berlin, Germany, Johnson Collins. Yes. Eugenia is her first name, Roden is her mother's maiden name, R O D E N. Rogers is her father's surname. Johnson is the last name of her first husband and my biological father. And Collings is the love of her life who passed away. John Allred Collings passed away from prostate cancer. Yes. July the 11th, 2020. And why is it significant? When a death certificate was filed with the state of Alabama, the violence escalated against the widowed Miss Eugenia. That's it, brother. That's how it works, folks. Yep. You got corrupt state agents yes. criminally surveilling innocent taxpaying civilians with property that they deem defenseless. <laughs> That's true. And they violate the United States Constitution. Yes. Which is our legal Bible. Oh, yes. And all of this started with a jury tampered verdict yes. in the Supreme Court uh, case number 1051726 that uh, had the fortitude to overturn it. Yes. Chief Justice Tom Parker and the United, the, the United and Unanimous Supreme Court of the State of Alabama chose this case properly adjudicated this case and marshall county mafia set out to kill the victors we won that's it brother we did marshall county officialdom lost yes they lost their credibility these people are not trustworthy no Everything they say is suspect. Yes. I wouldn't trust these people with animals, much less children or money True. or any type of power and authority. Yeah. If you do 99% good, but you do 1% very bad, you lose all credibility. That's true, brother. These people are criminals. These people are going to be indicted by... Alabama State Grand Jury and are a United States Federal Grand Jury. And it's going to happen in Jefferson County. Yes. It may happen in Montgomery County for the state and Birmingham, which is Jefferson County for the federal. I don't know. I'm not attorney. I'd, I wouldn't be an attorney. Yes. Brother Chapel said lawyer is synonymous with liar. I'm not putting down the profession. Many of them are. You know, they sell their professional knowledge to be advocates of the devil. Yeah. And that's the, the criminal defense attorneys. It's possibly a necessary evil, but they went way too far with this one, didn't they, King Sonny? That's it, brother. They, Woo, did, they went oh, way yes, too geez, far with this did. one. You're abusing a 10-year-old boy of a sexual nature, Alabama state agents, mm -hmm. at a state park built by... Governors George C. Wallace and Lurleen Wallace for the American and Alabama families. Yes. To reunite and connect with nature where God lives. We are the children of the beautiful Mother Nature. Yes. And we deserve respect. 
and we we will not be oppressed we will not be exploited by our government no and it's the state government yes it's not the federal government the federal government and the high level state government uh, uh, steve marshall he, he has no tolerance for this do you agree king sonny that's true brother steve marshall realizes that marshall county thinks they can do anything they want because steve marshall was raised in Marshall County. That's true. His children went to school in Marshall County. Yes. As young people. Yes, they did. And Marshall County has disrespected Steve Marshall. Yes, they have. <laughs> Notice there's thunder in the sky. Yes. That's God over taking care of us. Yep. He's watching after us. Coming on like a hurricane. Yes, he's letting us know he's there. Rolling thunder. Yes. Pouring rain. Yes. Bring it. Category yep. five. Yep, in the hands who built it. Out of a category five. Yes. As a tops. Yep. You remember when Katrina hit New I Orleans? Do. I do. 2005. Yep. You remember when the radical Islamic terrorist flew the Ameri the uh, United Twin Towers. Uh, the, what was it? The American Airlines into the Twin Towers. Into the Twin Towers. That was two thousand and one. Yep. And why do I say that? Well, folks, God works in mysterious ways, and Brother Chapel said these radical Marshall County white supremacists. They are radical islamic terrorist with a christian twist yes they're indoctrinated from birth that they are privileged that the law doesn't apply to them they're above the law that the lord wants them to kill still destroy in order for them to maintain their superior and privileged position these people are psychopathic amen brother and they are collectively criminally psychopathic yes like a ravenous wolf pack yes they are they stalk their prey they move in for the kill yes. and then they're relentless we have been relentlessly attacked oh, by yes. these demons yes just absolute demonic all four of us brother chapel they killed abusing your mother at miss collins eugenia 83 years old disabled Americans yeah, Disability yeah. Act, folks. And that's she, what they, they just, that's what they weren't counting on. They weren't counting on the truth. Yep. They weren't counting on God. They weren't counting on we the people. They weren't counting on the American justice system recording everything. Yep. And then once they cross the ultimate line, which is killing a World War II. Amen. That's when the Fed said no. Nope. No, you're not going to get away with this, nope. Marshall County. You went way too far. Too far. And what drove them insane? I say that Supreme Court unanimous scathing rebuke that exposed the fact that they claimed qualified immunity after yes. they denied Miss Eugenia's statutory immunity yes. in a $5 million targeted extortion scheme by the judges of Marshall County. Yes. There are five crooked judges. Let's Amen. be clear, I'll name the five last names only. Evans, Jolly, Riley, in a minor way, Abel, and in a major way, Floyd. Yes. All circuit court judges except Floyd. That's right. He's a district court judge. Yes. There's a sixth judge, but he's a city judge, and that's D. Walker that signed two false arrest warrants yes right when the supreme court ruling was released everybody there on the wrong side wanted to show their allegiance to white supremacy yes they do even the radical local baptist church started a petition to evict miss eugenia and associates from the community they did why because they said we lied to the supreme court was the only reason we won we never received a penny. No. 
We never received any financial redress. No, we did not. All we received was a confirmation that Marshall County officialdom is crooked. Yes. And they use lies Amen. to murder and rob people. <coughs> is that true? That's true. They Steve. use lies. They That's called it. Miss Eugenia a liar in yep. a $5 million defamation lawsuit, mm -hmm. knowing she didn't lie. That's true. All she did is follow the only legal remedy she had available, which was mailing a 10-day bad check notice to an attorney's son's yes. resident that he had put down on an application and he returned it refused with a big red sharpie written all the way across the front of the envelope it was a setup and that was the second step yes. the first step was when he came in the finance office and talked conned us into cash and three bad checks promising that us that he would make it right no matter what yes and that his daddy was rich his daddy was a crook yes and was later disbarred for other crimes he stole a client sixty five thousand dollar escrow yes. and gambled it away in a in a marshall county poker syndicate that was going from house to house to house yes and running it like a las vegas casino yes with drinks and waitresses and scantily clad women and one time i was told <laughs> Two men got into a very violent argument over a poker game. Yes. And one of them pulled out a pistol and fired it out in the front yard. Yes. And that was the beginning of the end of that Marshall <laughs> County poker syndicate. It was an illegal criminal organization. It's true. And why am I talking about it? Well, in the midst of that $5 million extortion scheme, a, a man pulled into our home office there. We had 23 finance offices with 36 full-time employees, 3,500 finance customers that spanned five Alabama counties. You find the payroll an overhead of over $100,000 a month. That was hard work. Yes. And you got Marshall County coming along. We'll take that. Yes. And what you won't give, a, what you won't give us We'll sabotage or we'll kill you. That's it. I mean, that's 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 crime, folks. Mm -hmm. That's what that's they violent crime, and that's the judges of Marshall County. They and then it trickles down from there. And then they put a puppet in the sheriff's position. We need Scott Walls back. Yes, we do. We need Scott Walls back. He would never allow such violence against disabled people. No. A ten-year-old boy. That's a protected class, and they abused him of a sexual nature at the Lake Gunnersville State Park. Yes. And they abused the image and likeness of Elvis Presley. Yes. It was an adulterous same-sex affair, according to this comedy skit, where Elvis and his lover were on stage using a wooden baseball bat and grabbing each other's arms and buttocks in yes. front of a 10-year-old boy that dresses up like Elvis and had won numerous Elvis tribute artists accolades through Graceland in Memphis. Yes. The 10 year old boy was from Memphis and the show was advertised as a lighthearted family friendly event. Yes. And as a tribute to Elvis Aaron Presley. You have to take that up with David Lee Roseberry. Yes. His attorney paid $250, which was an admission of guilt. Read that court case, Brother Chapel versus Sheriff Phil Sims and David Lee Roseberry. It was initially filed in Jefferson County because David Lee Roseberry lives in Jefferson County. Tarrant. In Tarrant. And when he went to Marshall County, evidently he was told, if you're gonna make money in Marshall County, you're gonna have to abuse Elvis and a 10 year old boy and torture and torment j period monroe johnson that's it brother it was all to steal a million dollar property and the sheriff is going to go to federal prison that's it whoever has access to his passport turn it into your nearest fbi office
You can talk like that when the sheriff's trying to kill your mother. Yes. They have my mother in financial distress, <coughs> and this is the fourth private business enterprise they've sabotaged, and this is because of the Supreme Court ruling that stopped the judges of Marshall County. None of them had the fortitude to stand up for what's right. <coughs> and they were stopped by Chief Justice Tom Parker. Yes. And they were exposed for their felony crimes. Yes, they were. And they returned to the scene of the crime over and over and over, and they killed Brother Chapel. Yes, they did. It's a wrongful death. It's an unlawful death. And you can read his court filings. They're filed in the Alabama Court of Civil Appeals. He specifically said that Chris Bailey, president of Liberty Bank, has the blood of innocence on his hands. Yes. And Margaret Lacey... Yep. Vice President of Cadence Bank, the most prestigious bank in Marshall County, a $28 billion bank, folks. That is that is $28,000 million. Yes. And she doesn't have a college degree. She didn't go to junior college. You can talk like that when she's trying to kill your mother through financial violence to rob Miss Eugenia, a disabled, elderly, 83 year of age, godly, gracious, dignified, Alabama high school, retired guidance counselor, folks. Yes. She never had one write up. She dedicated her life to helping children. And what does Marshall County do? Try to stigmatize her as a defamer. Yes. That had damaged a Marshall County attorney's son in the amount of $5 million as an unscrupulous finance company owner and provable by a 12-member jury. And it's all a big lie, folks. Yes, it's, it is. it's the county, and this is how they kill people. And when Miss Eugenia appealed the $5 million extortion and tampered jury verdict, you got to understand our whole system is based on working within the framework of the U.S. Constitution. Yes. And it all hinges on the jury system. Yes. And when you disregard the U.S. Constitution or any element thereof, and especially the jury system component mm -hmm. of the U.S. Constitution, yes. you go to the core and you stab the United States right in the heart. Yes. These people are domestic terrorists. Yes. In the Revolutionary War, they would be called a Tory. And what a Tory was, was someone that professed to support the American cause of independence from the tyrant King George III of Great Britain, yes. when actually they were supporting another form of governance, yes. which was a monarchy. And they actually were spies reporting back to the king and the king's men of Great Britain. Two-faced hypocrites. Amen, brother. You talk about rank hypocrisy and duplicity. This is deadly hypocrisy and criminal duplicity by people that claim to be the best of the best when they're the worst of the worst. That's it, brother. And it takes the feds, and it takes God, and, yes. it, ta and it takes the general. It takes the general. Yes. Do you understand that Steve Marshall, in essence, is like Robert E. Lee? Yes. He's the general for our time. Do you understand the power and authority he wields? Yes. And do you understand the level of disrespect? Oh, yes. That the officials of Marshall County have shown yes. our very good Attorney General, Steve Marshall? Yes. God have mercy on them. Yes, Lord. They're not bulletproof, folks. No. They're guilty of sin. Yes. It's called the American Disabilities Act. Yes. How did they hurt you? And who hurt you, King Sonny? Well, Sheriff Phil Sims did. They enlisted me for uh, five and a half hours in Talladega, Alabama. What is Talladega, Alabama known for? Helen Keller School for the Blind and Deaf. Have you ever been there? Yes, I have. To visit? To be, go to school there. I sure did. About how far were you 
from the Helen Keller School of the Blind and Deaf when Sheriff Phil Sims of Marshall County was torturing and tormenting you for five and a half hours. Just a few miles. Uh, would that be five or three approximately? About three, about three. Three miles. And um, why, why was Sheriff Phil Sims torturing and tormenting you for five and a half hours, three miles from Helen Keller's School of the Blind and Deaf? He was trying to put the chief in jail with drugs, alcohol, and guns, but didn't work. Then also trying to take a million dollar property from Miss Eugenia. Was there anything else he wanted? Oh yes, the limo. He wanted the limo too for his own self and give the million dollar property to his girlfriend, Margaret Lacey, the vice president of Keaton's Bank. How could they do such a thing as far as legally? It's not legal. Okay, well then even, I mean, it's just unfathomable. Yes. What was their plan? I mean, how did they think they could do it? Well, they thought they could get you to take the drugs, which you did, and one of our supposedly friends, Brian Roberts, a state trooper, tried to give you the drug and said it was a chiclet to take it, and you figured out that it wasn't. Then he tried to get you to drink beer, and you wouldn't do it. Then he tried to plant a gun in your car. You wouldn't let him do it. Then when they run you off and they stopped you again, searching you, they couldn't find nothing again. They were trying to get the limo from you right then because, you know, they thought they'd find drugs on you, alcohol in you, and guns. That, which that, that they had planted? Planted. All of the above? All, every bit of it, thanks to Brian Roberts. Entrapment? Yep. To steal a million dollar property? and illegally confiscate a long black Cadillac limousine. That's true. That Miss Eugenia has because she operated a three limo limousine service for several years. Yes. And they tried to capitalize on all her good works. That's it. Everything she worked hard for, they tried to take. And they wanted to take it <coughs> in about three to five hours what what had taken her about 30 years to, to build. build yes you could say 83 years yeah but we'll go with 30. yes you know we're going on 30. we've been in marshall county for 24 years we have paid marshall county two hundred and forty thousand dollars in land tax alone yes so we'll go with a quarter of a million dollars on yes. property tax to marshall county alone mm -hmm. and just on the property they're trying to steal yes all right, then the two bankers that conspired with the sheriff, that's Liberty Bank of DeKalb County, who just mailed us a uh, do not come near our bank letter through their attorney and a process server. Yeah. They're caught, aren't they, King Son? That is true. That's and what they ready. accuse us of. They're guilty of. That is true. They've done everything they accused us of doing. And the other bank is Cadence Bank, Margaret Lacey. And what happened is, Miss Eugenia's two bankers, that's Chris Bailey of Liberty Bank, Margaret Lacey of Cadence Bank, and Miss Eugenia's sheriff that she's paid a quarter of a million dollars, and the bankers... She's paid hundreds of thousands, probably millions, at least a few million through yeah. the years. I mean, she's been a depositor at Liberty Bank since 1974. Yes. You know, she was a depositor, literally, of Liberty Bank before Chris Bailey was born. Yes. And he ran her off. Yep. When she caught him in lies trying to steal her million-dollar property for his girlfriend, Margaret Lacey. Yes, sir. And his guy friend, Phil Sims. Yep, the sheriff. That's it's, true. It's a pit of vipers. And and who else would they get? You got two bankers, and they're both Miss Collins' bankers. And they're both sabotaging her, trying to get her into foreclosure. So they can steal a million-dollar property. That The balance was paid down to 40000 That was the plan, folks. That's it. And you got the sheriff. Yep. And you've got someone else. 
And that's the corporate attorney. Yes, for Who's Miss that? Miss Eugenia's corporate attorney lawyer. Who is that? Jimmy Carnes. Carnes. Jimmy Carnes. Wow. Now, what's the chiropractor got to do with it? He abused and sexually abused you, Chief. After, yeah. after the Talladega takedown yeah. did not Work. produce yep. a limousine and a million dollar prime commercial real property located one mile south of Gunnersville Walmart. Yes. On the same side of the road with a black compound wall that was ordered by who? Who ordered the compound wall built? Y'all did, really. There's one person that ordered it. Miss Eugenia? No. Tell me. Spiritual Grandpa Chapel, Chapel. On the day that he found out that John Allen Smith sexually assaulted Miss Eugenia's youngest son. Yes. Because the Talladega takedown did not work. That's right. It's all on a timeline, folks. Yes. When they, when they didn't get the million dollar property comp illegally confiscated and the limousine comp illegally confiscated in Talladega. And this is after Sergeant David Atwell tried to evidently plant child porn evidence in the office and he was stopped January 2nd, 2019. Yes. This is after Phil Sims was elected November 3rd, 2018. And then Chris Bailey started playing games with Miss Eugenia's approved $150,000 bank mortgage. Yes. Folks, these people, this is how they do it. You need to study this one, folks. Yes. One, one retired family court judge from Greenville, South Carolina that had served well the citizenry of Greenville, South Carolina for over 30 years as a family court judge. He said this one will be taught in law schools for the next 50 plus years. Way past 50. Yes. This one will be taught in law schools. This is when the system rigs the system. Yes. Imagine the system rigging the system. The best metaphor I have for that is imagine a scandal hits Nevada and you find out it's not just a crooked card stacking blackjack card dealer. But it's 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 the multi-billion dollar casino owners. Yes. And then it's the Nevada Gaming Board. Yes. And then I mean I don't know where you go from there. We don't have this in this story, but imagine the the state attorney general and the governor's also ordering it and are complicit with it. Yes. I mean the whole system collapses. Yes. Where do you go but to the Lord? Yes. And the United States government. <coughs> Like, share, and subscribe. What other statements? Close it out with a prayer, please, King, okay. King Sonny. Dear Lord, me and the Chief is here this afternoon in beautiful Montgomery, Alabama on the 7th, 28th of 2023. We've been here filing papers, you know, for Miss Eugenia to try to get everything back straight to where it's supposed to be and to keep them from killing that young lady, which they abuse me and they abuse the Chief. It don't bother me. It ain't gonna hurt me. Bring it on. We know you're going down because we got the most powerful thing on our world, in our side, and that's in the world, God. We know there's one. We believe in him. We got the spirit, and mainly we tell the truth. You know, the truth is a word, and the word is the truth. So, God, you sent your only begotten son here to take our sins away. And, you know, and during the time that you passed away, and now which, you know, you see all the sins is what's happening in Marshall County. You know, you need to talk to them and give them a word, you know, and, you know, because they need to get on both knees, both hands and head bowed and tongue confessing to ask for forgiveness. That's up to you. We can't do it. They need to get saved, baptized, and get washed in the spirit blood, the spirit of the blood. So I'm going to close this with me and the chief here. You know, God... Take care of us. Keep us in your hands, and especially Miss Eugenia. And give us what we need to have here, the truth. And that's God. Amen. Amen. Thank you for that beautiful prayer, King Sonny. I'd like to add that we use pure truth to dismantle pure evil. And that is pure love. That's it. We are civil rights activists. Yes. 
We are protesting yes. the denial of business and property rights to women and the killing of a World War II war disabled Navy veteran. Yes. And a very good man yes. who was also a high priest yes. in the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter day Saints. Amen, brother. He was also a very proud American Boy Scouts master yes. for over two decades. Yes. And he raised five boys and two girls yes. and outlived four wives. He lived to the age of 95. Yes. And he was three months shy of 96 before Marshall County officialed him, yeah. corrupt officialed him, killed him. That's it, brother. It's an unlawful death. Yes. You can read his affidavits. Yes, sir. And make your own determination. Yes. We have suffered... Great psychological damage. Yes. They offered life. You understand what that means? Tell us. We'll threaten them with their life. They'll do what we want or we'll threaten them with their life. That's what they do. They offered Miss Eugenia, we'll let you live, but you're going to give us the five million cash and the one million real property. Yes. You're going to give us what we want or we'll rape your son again. We'll kill your spiritual grandpa and we'll take your life. Yes. That's how insane they are. Yes. They offered my mother her life. That's when it. they don't have that power. No. They don't have that power. Only God can judge and only God has the power of life and death. That's it. My mother's innocent. I'm yes. innocent. Brother Chapel was innocent. King Sonny's innocent. Yes. The little 10 year old boys, innocent. We're yes, all sir. innocent. And Alabama's all guilty. Yes. We are right and Alabama's wrong. Yes. Scott Walls, we want you back. Yes. Oh, God, save politically corrupt Alabama. Yes. Oh, God. So please, 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 let me, let me, let me, let me get what I want this time. World peace. World peace. World peace. Amen. In the living God, Christ Jesus' name. Yes. Amen. Amen. Let it be peace. Amen, brother.